Melanie with the fight braids and Fallon in the black. And aggressively sitting to guard is Mel. Melanie trying to elevate through. Might be thinking potentially of a cast slicer here. She's keeping that leg nice and close. She's trying to use it to sit to deep half. Might be thinking some sort of a waiter sweep. This is a very interesting position already. Mel doing a good job elevating, finding herself back into the butterfly half. She's got the, the butterfly guard back here, so a little bit of an interesting start there, interesting scrambles, but it results here to playing butterfly guard and Mel trying to stand up and doing a good job here, kind of forcing and bullying her way to the top position. And Fallon was like, okay, I'll sit to guard. Didn't have much of an issue with that. And so now we find Mel kind of employing, looks to be the mechanics of a body lock pass, but she doesn't quite have the body lock. She's trying to do some old school with her right arm, grabbing the, grabbing the toes, and she's going to try to stuff the knee and try to pass to her left. Found doing a good job stuffing Mel's left arm here. Melanie finds her posture here. Now entering into our knee shield half guard. And the knee shield half guard is very effective, especially when you're a taller competitor like Fallon because you're able to keep so much distance between the head and the knee. You're able to use your knees as a frame to keep Mel far away. And Mel finds that chest to chest connection here. And now this is a really, really tight position here for Mel. And Mel being the shorter competitor, she's gonna wanna get that chest to chest, put the pressure as she's doing. Again, she's got the cross face and the underhook, so traditional guard passing scenario here. And it looks like looks like she might Fallon might be doing a lockdown defense here, which is a very common defense in these types of positions when you have someone cross facing you and underhooking you. They might be able to buy you a little bit of time, relieve a little bit of that pressure, but Mel doing a good job staying patient here and almost finds the mount there, but Fallon doing a good job not settling and letting Mel uh, get into the mount position. And Mel doing a good job staying on top with the cross face with the underhook. She's trying to get that right knee up high. She's using her left foot to pull that knee through. So this is traditional guard passing 101 here from Mel. She's going to try to get to that mount position again or pass the guard. It'll be interesting to see if she decides to switch to any kind of knee slide motion. And it looks like we're going to enter into that three-quarter mount here. And this three-quarter mount is tight because Mel's underneath Fallon's left arm. And now she's kind of going for a little bit of a cheeky Americana here. And Mel settling into the mount position and does find the position. It looks like she might be setting up an arm triangle or was attempting to. Mel doing a good job stabilizing here. Still got a lot of time to work. Again, this is submission only. There's no points. And so while this is a good position to attack from, if she does lose it like she just did, there are no points involved. If there is no submission at the end of the 10-minute regulation, we do go to EBI overtime. And Mel doing a good job just keeping that cross face, keeping that underhook. And Fallon trying to get that lockdown again with her left foot. And Mel doing a good job just keeping the pressure. Not allowing her to get that lockdown fully settled in. And now she's transitioning to the knee slide off of it. And now she's trying to find the foot. And gets the straight ankle. Beautiful job there by Mel. Found the foot, took it. Very well done there from Melanie, and she will be moving on in our women's 135-pound bracket. So that concludes the first round of the women's 135-pound bracket.